right, of course, as soon as I start recording, all the loud fucking cars and shit go right by. Wouldn't be one of my videos without that, would it? All right, we're finally doing a sort of personal bucket list kind of whiskey for me. Now, this one isn't so hard for a lot of people to get, but uh, where I am it is. And uh, we're going to be looking at one I've wanted for years now. This is Ardbeg Ugadal. And it is their big, big, big daddy, I guess is best you could say. Uh, this is the one that Jim Murray always raves about almost every year. Uh, big in alcohol, big in peat. Um, yeah, just drive by. Just drive by. <laughs> so it's a 108.4 proof or 54.2%. Uh, alcohol by volume and of course you have the uh, fancy packaging here it's a little bit more classy than the uh, Highland Park stuff which goes a little overboard of its Celtic knots and all that shit but uh, yeah Ugadal so basically it takes its name from the uh, lock that they uh, get their water from that is peaty as fuck it's peat laden it says in the back here um, and they do a special vatting here so they're marrying together uh, some of their their standard uh, stuff with uh, ex sherry cask uh, whiskey and ex sherry casks as well so they're trying to give a little bit of a balance here a little bit of a flavor balance that balance going on they don't want it to be totally wrecking your palate with this nothing but peat and smoke uh, I'd be okay with that personally but hey they want to do what they want to do so I've been looking forward to this one for a while and uh, we're not gonna waste too much time here because we're doing this on the tablet so I don't know uh, <laughs> I really don't know how much space I have and how much time I have on this thing it's a puny little piece of shit so looking at it there non chill filtered of course uh, cast strength so all the color is legit, and so you're definitely getting some of those sherry cask influence there. I can see a little tinge of pink almost on it uh, around the edges, but it's mostly just a, a nice sort of standard uh, amber there. Let's go right to the aroma. Mm. Heavy, heavy sort of bonfire smoke um, right away. Peat reek <laughs> would be the way to put it as well. Uh, it's got that sort of vegetal uh, peat quality to it. Uh, but sort of one of the more dominant notes in the smell is, or in the aroma, is this nice sort of raisiny, uh, slightly wine-tinged kind of thing. Like the sherry cask is definitely coming through here, so... Uh, the peat is not bullying its way in and just, and just totally taking over here. You're definitely getting a little bit of sherry cask in there and it is balancing out. It's a nice... It actually smells a little bit tamer than Ardbag 10, um, which I'm, I'm assuming just doesn't have the, uh, the sherry cask in there influencing things. Um, I might be mistaken about that. Didn't do a lot of research on this. Uh, just jumping into it, like I don't know, I don't really have a clue how old the whiskeys are that are um, that are used for this. Um, I'm assuming between eight and ten is probably what it is. Um, but yeah, th this has a nice balance. It's, it's definitely a little bit more inviting and uh, smooth on the nose than uh, just your standard Ardbeg Ten, as far as I can recall. So we'll go right to the taste. Cheers. Ooh. <clears throat> wow. Don't take that as the whiskey making me cough. <clears throat> I just sort of, um, I think I went down the wrong hole. <laughs> <clears throat> no, that's beautiful. Uh, it's definitely warm going down, but it doesn't burn. Uh, you, the alcohol is definitely present boosting up that flavor here you get the peat uh, massive amount of peat here uh, mixing with that sort of bonfire smoke kind of thing it 
tip of the tongue, nice sweetness. Um, definitely the sherry casks make their presence known in the taste as well. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. There's a perfect balancing of flavors here. Something they did, don't quite accomplish with their um, sort of special one-offs like the uh, Cory Vrecken and um, No and then those ones um, where in some cases there's maybe too much sherry influence um, and it's, it seems a little unbalanced. Here, it's a perfect marriage Oh man, you're not getting necessarily that super uh, medicinal sort of peat that you would get from like a Laphroaig, which is actually the one I prefer more, um, but here it's very, very smooth, very comforting, very smoky. Um, it just feels like I have like a plume of smoke coating the back of my mouth and it's uh, bringing up a, a nice bit of wood from the actual casks. Mm -mm. Definitely a sipper. Oh man, smooths right out. Getting a lot of sweetness now on the tongue as well as uh, the sort of finish lingers on. And it and it sort of um, it sort of disappears really quick too. This the sweetness sort of hits there and just says hello, and then it kind of disappears and then the uh, the smoke and the peat just take over again. Man, oh man. Uh, good mouthfeel on it. Nice, nice solid uh, body to it. I'd say upper medium. Mmm. I'm in love. I'm in love. Um. Wow. Man, the way they integrated that sherry cask into this is fucking phenomenal. So I paid $120 for this at the NSLC. Of course, that's the uh, that's the uh, tax out the yin yang Nova Scotian prices for this stuff. So um, I imagine you can find it in uh, more sensible countries when it comes to uh, booze taxation um, for a better price. And uh, even then, it'll probably be the high end price for Ardbeg stuff. But even then, it's worth it. It's worth every penny. This is amazing. Um, I had little doubt that it was going to be. It, you know, it was. Uh, I did have expectations coming into this. I had built myself up, and this met all my expectations. Um, I, I had an idea what it, this was going to be like uh, getting into it, and uh, it's pretty spot on. Um, is it my favorite whiskey of all time? No. Uh, I'd still say Lafroy Quarter Cask is my all-time go-to favorite, but um, that doesn't mean this doesn't get an A+, <laughs> because it gets a fucking A+. Mmm. That's just going smooth now. Whew. Initial little slap in the face, but then it, man, it just becomes a smooth, sexy fucking drink. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I'm probably preaching to the choir here for anyone who's actually had this stuff, you know. It's, you know. Uh, oh, Ugadal's really good. Who would have thought? Um, yeah, Ardbeg. This is quality shit. This is quality, quality shit. You're not going to get much better than this. Um, a plus, Ardbeg Ugadal. Finally, I've got it. And um, I'm actually kind of scared I might go through this bottle much quicker than I should. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope this video turns out all right. Like I said, I'm doing it on a tablet, so um, quality's probably not going to be necessarily as good as the HD camera. But uh, my cameras are basically sitting in mothballs right now without batteries and shit. And, um, yeah, I just decided to try this out. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.